How many of you guys understand that the word repent simply means to change your ways, to change your mind? My girlfriend, Alejandra, she blows my mind, literally. And the first time we met, we were talking about synergistically the idea of people understanding that our lives are operated in cycles and cycles like the seasons and cycles like uh, month by month and even the rhythmic day to day that we can get stuck in that feels like monotony, right? And so often we want to change, but we're not willing to get outside of said cycle. And so Alejandra has a depth of wisdom connected to alignment and just her spiritual growth and maturity over such a short period of time. If after encountering the Lord through decades, plus decades, she was the original OG in the the self-coaching and the leadership coaching and the life coaching industry. And she stumbled, I don't believe she stumbled, I believe God strategically placed it and then she tripped right into him. And it's so beautiful to see this new lens, this 180 method that she literally equips people in. She certifies people to teach the 180 method in their own coaching businesses. And it's brilliant. And it's literally catapulting you outside of the cycle, changing your mind in the 180 versus you doing 360s and getting really dizzy. So that's the gist of it. And I know I'm only tapping into a small part of her wisdom and training. She's going to come and she's going to dish out more at the conference. And so whether you're in person or virtually, we want you to meet. We want you guys to have your worlds collide so that you can infuse this incredible rich content into your material. No matter what you do, I don't care what industry you work in, I don't care if you're a coach or not, it will apply to the people in which you are stewarding. Hey, shoot, I know for me, hands up, I had to do it for myself before I was ever able to teach it to other people. So maybe I'm saying that and you're like, gosh, I'm in my own cycles. Well, Alejandra's going to be the one to get you out. Well, sort of, and Jesus, you know how that goes. Anyway, I love you guys. I can't wait for you to meet her and I can't wait to be in the room. Get your tickets now. This episode, I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but there's several different codes that you can use. There's BOGO50, which will likely be running all the way until the event, November 10th and 11th in Raleigh, North Carolina. Fly into Raleigh or get your virtual pass right now. But the BOGO50, all caps, goes to buy one, get one 50% off. It's a steal to be in the room. You're going to witness not only these incredible speakers and family members, but also you're going to be able to instill these new things into your business to catapult into 2024. I'm ready for it, and I hope you are too. Let's do this. A healing, like a true healing journey began. Um, and during my the first part of my healing journey, I had a mentor who said to me, listen, Alejandra, you do amazing things and you do incredible work, but if you find God, you're going to be a happy girl. Um, and I was like, wow, okay, so I truly do need to find God. And who is that? And what does that mean? And what does that look like? And it led me on the path of getting to know Christ. And, you know, just, uh, I mean, it makes me want to cry. He's so incredible and literally pulled me out of the darkness and into the light and like, you're mine. And here's what I need you to do. And that is the work that I've been doing. And so the anxiety gone, insomnia totally got like how, who I was before and who I am now is totally a 180, which as you know, yes. what I, I was like, you got to get into the 180 method. But before you do, yeah. what I find so incredible and, and I want people to, to hook their you know teeth into their claws into is the understanding that like usually it's a messy story. Usually there's some sort of element of it doesn't look pretty. Um, I, I was just thinking this morning how pretty much in my quarter life crisis, I was just like running so fast that I thought I was supersonic. I thought I was Superman and I could run through a brick wall. And lo and behold, I hit the brick wall and my whole life shattered apart. Yeah. Right. And it's like, wait, what just happened to me? What just happened to her from the outside looking in and that element of shame like that you spoke to, I feel wholeheartedly mm -hmm. um, and, and that knowing that like everything that I thought was picture perfect was actually crumbling from the inside out, but it wasn't until my physical body hit that wall that I was able to actually just stop and realize there's, I cannot do anything more than what I'm capable of in this moment. And in this moment, all I'm capable of is doing is breathing. 
And I had two little babies at the time. So it was hard to mother. It was hard to, you know, get food on the table. It was hard to make eye contact with other people. It was hard. It was so hard. And yet at the same time, I know that what God was having me do in that time was to like, forget about self, right? I was so self-centered and thought that everything, even from a self-development perspective, even from a business development perspective, I thought I had it figured out so young, right? I could strut it. I was confident. I was all of these things from the outside looking in. And it was that time, that season of just really unbecoming in order to become mm -hmm. uh, that I, I'll never take back. And I feel like that person's wisdom towards like, you might have it all together and you're great and you're wonderful and you're shining bright now, but just wait, yeah. just wait till you have that moment, that encounter. And I can't wait to see you change your life change before your eyes. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's a pretty evolution. <laughs> yeah. Usually it isn't. <laughs> no. And that's okay. I think yeah. if it wasn't for the muck and the mire, we wouldn't have the empathy factor. We yeah. wouldn't have the ability to sit here both like makeup lists and just like, let's talk, right? Like, yeah, let's just exactly. put it all on the table 